Welcome to my blog. Week 4 players are stepping up to the plate. There are 5 teams that are 4-0. The big surprise is the Denver Broncos. Quarterback Kyle Orton, who struggled in preseason, looked a little scary at times, seemed to be comfortable in the Josh McDaniels system. Denver is undefeated and offensively playing some good football. Their defense is the real deal, being coached by a smart and highly energized former 49er head coach Mike Nolan. The two teams I like the most are clearly steps ahead of everyone else in the league are the Colts and the Giants. They're led by the Manning brothers, Peyton and Eli. These two quarterbacks are putting up great fantasy numbers every week. I want to give a shout out to Peyton Manning on uh, leading the Colts and scoring touchdowns four of the first five drives last week, tying a milestone established by Fran Targeton and Dan Marino. My starting lineup for week five, at quarterback, Steelers, Ben Roethlisberger. Expect big fantasy numbers against a tired defensive uh, uh, Detroit Lions defense that will be on the field a lot. You know, rookie uh, Lions quarterback Stratton twisted his knee last week. If he plays, he won't be mobile enough to get the job done. At running back, Steelers, Rashad Mendenhall. He put up some good fantasy numbers last week as well against the Chargers with 165 yards and two touchdowns. Look for him to wear down the Lions defense. Expect three touchdowns from him. My other starting running back is Ronnie Brown uh, of the Miami Dolphins. Ronnie and the Dolphins shocked the Bills last week as they, they beat them 38-10. to and He ran for 115 yards and scored uh, two touchdowns. There's a lot of bad blood between these two teams, the Jets and the, and, and the Dolphins. Expect Ronnie to step up his game because he loves Monday Night Football. At wide receiver, uh, my starting lineup is uh, Steve Smith, New York, New York Giants. Smith is emerging to be a threat uh, this season. The first three weeks of the season, uh, Manningham had a lot of success, but now he's been double covered. You know, so look for Smith to be Eli go-to guy. My other wide receiver is Brandon Marshall. Looks like he's focused now and ready to go. He look, I think he's going to put up some great numbers against the, the pass this week. Uh, he, he shows up in big games. At tight end, I like Coach Dallas Clark. He's, he's been catching balls, everything thrown to him this year. I mean, it's been, he's been amazing. Last week he caught eight balls for 80 yards. You know, uh, he's definitely the go-to guy in the red zone in, in the coast uh, offense. So, look, for, it could be a big day for uh, Clark against the Titans. And kicker, 49er Netney. Um, it could be a long day for the 49ers. You know, um, their offense is going against a, a tough Falcons uh, defense. You know, they're tough to, you know, to beat them at home. You know, so um, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a special team kind of game and it's going to be a lot of field goals in that game. Um, at defense, I like Minnesota Vikings. You know, uh, the Vikings played outstanding Monday night against the Packers. They're facing a weak Rams offense that failed to score, and they gave up three defensive special team touchdowns to the 49ers in week four. I'm expecting the Vikings to, to be spectacular again this week. The team to watch, I like the Broncos. A lot of people are saying that the Broncos are the weakest undefeated team out there. I disagree. They're facing Tom Brady, who's coming off a big win against the Ravens. And there's always a lot of fireworks between, between the Broncos and the Pats. Bad blood in, the, in that game as well. You know, um, I'm going on the limb, and I'm going to pick uh, the Broncos to upset the Pats 24-21. And my must start for the week, Colts, quarterback Peyton Manning. He's having the most valuable year. Need I say more? And a must sit, I'm going with Rams running back, Steven Jackson. He'll be facing a tough Vikings front line that's really hard to run against with the Wim brothers anchoring the way. Uh, and my second player that I'm going to sit is Calvin Johnson. He's going against a well-balanced Steelers defense. And the sleeper for the week, um, I'm going with uh, Ravens running back Ray Rice. He had 11 carries for 103 yards last week. And if he gets off to a fast start, Ravens will continue to feature this guy. This guy can go, man. I like him. 
and at um, wide receiver Andre Johnson. I know his numbers were down last week, but expect him to explode against the Cardinals. He's going to put up some great fancy numbers against the Cardinals. I want to say good luck to all you fancy players out there, and I'll see you next week.